Good morning. Uh, today's been a good day so far. We found some sports cards at Walmart. I will open those up on my other channel. We're at a thrift store right now, one of my favorite ones. We're gonna go in there and find some interesting things we can resell. For those of you who don't know, my name is Blake, and this kind of treasure hunting, going around to thrift stores, garage sales, estate sales, buying Amazon return pallets, it's how I make some money. What we're doing today is looking for anything we can sell that's valuable. Now, usually I can find some good electronics, some video games, some books, and you're gonna see exactly what I go through, my thought process, and hopefully you can apply it to your life where if you need some extra cash, you can do these things as well. Here we are, electronics. I sell most of my electronics on Amazon, and I don't see anything right away that sticks out. Uh, this right here, that Panasonic 3D Blu-ray player, I did buy that. I test it to make sure it plays discs, it does. But everything here are large, clunky Blu-ray players or DVD players. This is a Radio Shack SWR meter. I guess it's a, it's for radios. It goes for about 15, 20 bucks on eBay. They wanted five bucks here. That is not worth it. After fees, after shipping, you're making hardly any money at all. That Panasonic 3D Blu-ray player, the sales rank on Amazon is above 300,000. So it might not sell in like three to six months, but it's $10 here. I'll get about a hundred bucks profit on it. So I think it's worth the risk. Over in the smaller electronic area, looking at the clocks, this over here, what you see in my hand now, it's an underwater camera flash. Usually this stuff with a kind of a large external plastic body and yellow, the brand is Sea Life. It's for underwater video equipment or photography equipment. However, it's not worth reselling. This individual component, assuming it works, and I don't even know if it works, only goes for about $25. Boards were kind of a tricky thing to get into. This keyboard right here goes for about 100 bucks, including shipping. So that could only be like 60 bucks plus $40 shipping, depending on where it goes in the country. And it's very hard to test. That M Audio keyboard goes for about 40 or 50 bucks. And they wanted 30 bucks for the big one and 20 bucks for the small one. The numbers just aren't there. It doesn't really make sense. Although it isn't a terrible deal because I'm not a specialist in keyboards, I left them there. This is like the miscellaneous section. I'm trying to find stuff that's new in box or anything that has hidden value. No hidden value there, just a, just a wooden box. Uh, sometimes there are, are sets inside those boxes or things that you wouldn't think are in there, but that was just empty. And so it stays on the shelf, just like that wine set I caught, huh? So this cookie funfetti mix, no one's buying that. Um, I'm looking down here for anything that's newer sealed. This Rawlings glove break-in kit goes for about 15 bucks. Sometimes like unique stuff like that that serves a purpose has a very high resale value because it's been discontinued, but that one either it hasn't been discontinued or it's just not unique enough to be worth anything. Cool Rick and Morty puzzle, but not really worth anything. Uh, and then even further down here, that's like a, a window seal kit. It put out, puts a film on windows or like to keep them warm, I guess, or to tint them maybe. Um, this is some plates down there. That's a giant mouse trap or a rat trap, if we're being totally honest. <laughs> yeah, that's for a that's for a big boy. Uh, and then uh, this over here is a porcelain bell. It's a Hallmark porcelain bell. A ton for sale on eBay. Hallmark's kind of a fake out brand. Some are very valuable, but I'd say like 95% are worthless. Ann Arbor is kind of an artsy town, so I go to the art section when I'm here. I saw this cool ceramic dolphin painting by someone named W. Morgan. There are a lot of these for sale of different designs, but they're only in the 10 to $15 range. So although I liked it, it goes back on the shelf. Novelty frames like this catch my eye, but there's a big, uh, it's like a, a, someone poked it with a hole in the O up there. So that's, that's broken. It's damaged goods. And then this, it's a, what's that dog called? A Havanese, Havanese in the library. It's a litho, but it's signed in the matting. So I thought maybe this is worth some money. Eh, worth about 10, 15 bucks. So not worthless, but um, not worth listing and shipping in my humble opinion. I went over to the clothing racks to see what fresh clothing was out here. All the buzz USA t-shirt, uh, a bunch of stuff that's not worth me listing. Maybe it's better if you're in like the 10 to $15 clothing resale price range, but I want to sell home runs, baby. Nothing below 40 bucks. Um, maybe this Eddie Bauer cardigan could have gone for 40 bucks. They wanted 10 bucks here and it was newer, so I passed. I thought that this this t-shirt coming up was pretty cool. It's a Red Wings t-shirt back when they were, uh, you know, the hockey team to be. 
But these Red Wings t-shirt like you're going to see in a second right there, they're only worth like 10 or $15. I love them, but I think they made a lot of them. So there is not a uh, not an issue with supply and demand. So unfortunately, it stays on the rack. I've been having great luck with old books and Bibles here. These two Bibles, the Jerusalem Bible and that Holy Bible, it's the Regency Word of Christ in Red, giant Jesus portrait Bible. They go for 40 bucks a piece. That's 80 bucks right there in two books. This was a great book day. I'll show you more when I get out of the thrift store, but just, just trust me, I found some pretty good books. What happened next was pretty crazy. So here I am looking at a cool Mass Effect trilogy Xbox 360 game, and this guy just shoves me out of the way. What are you doing, dude? He just pushes me out of the way and puts these games on the shelf. And so, of course, I swoop in and look at them, and sure enough, they're good, but like, come on, dude. Who does that? I don't know. Maybe he didn't see me. I was up against the cart. He pushes the cart. It like rams me in the hip. I'm not like really upset. It was just, it was just really weird behavior. I got some good video games though. So like, I don't know. I can't be that mad. Listen, the last thing I want to do is get into a fight with a 50 year old Salvation Army employee. That's not what I'm here to do. So I went over the clothing rack again, found this cool Batman t-shirt. It's uh, from like 2012, no tag, no date, but I looked it up on eBay. Uh, unfortunately, although it goes for like 20 bucks, there's a big rip in the pit. So I put it back on the clothing rack. Here is the total haul. Unfortunately, no boxes in there, but I have that tote bin I keep in my car. So uh, mostly a lot of Bibles, nothing too crazy. Some old books. Uh, this book right here, I thought was pretty neat. Maritime Labor Relations in the Great Lakes. No completed sales, but I've had pretty good luck selling Great Lakes centric stuff. Um, generally, my strategy is listed at 40 bucks and see if anybody bites and then take pretty much <laughs> any offer I get. Uh, because I don't really want to keep that. These Chilton repair manuals, these are really great to look out for. Uh, the truck ones especially, this is for an 88, 93 Bonneville, 88 LeSabre. But then, um, where is it? All right, here. This one, Ford pickups, uh, 65 to 86. On Amazon, this one sells for about 20 bucks. I didn't even check eBay comps, but still pretty cool. Everything else is just more media. Um, got pretty lucky on these on these video games that was pretty crazy the guy like shoved my cart out of the way but whatever you know if he's gonna shove my cart out of the way and then give me these games that's uh that's a fair trade i would say you ever had that you ever had like kind of a rude employee um i don't know if they're just busy or if they're in a bad mood or what but at least i uh at least i ended up on top of this one I just put my cart away i think that probably revenue on that's gonna be three to four hundred dollars uh, I spent 30 bucks, so let's say profit is like 280, just you know, doing some ballpark numbers, which is pretty good for a boat, mostly books. Um, those video games helped a lot. The uh, the Panasonic uh, 3D Blu ray player that'll probably take I don't know, like four to six months to sell, but for 10 bucks to turn into 100 bucks. That's not, that's not bad, I don't think. Second stop is a Goodwill. I don't usually go to Goodwills in this area because they cherry pick pretty hard, but I can sometimes get lucky on toys, clothing, uh, and just collectibles or sporting goods. This toy right here, Paradisapals or Paradisimals, I don't know, there's a sticker on there. I could not find a listing on Amazon. I scanned the barcode, no listing. The toy was made in 20, 2021. So just like, that's weird. Um, on eBay, two were going for 30 bucks total and I could find only a few listings. So that was like a bunch of red flags. They wanted $8. Uh, I, I said, you know what? No, I'm not gonna take that risk. This Imaginex T-Rex, if that had all of the parts like the little guy and the rocket throws, that goes for 60 bucks. However, it didn't have all that stuff. So I put it back on the shelf. I'm looking through these bags for any action figure bags or little small toy bags. What I did find was um, it's like little people figurines, uh, the, the barnyard animals. That may have been worth it. Uh, you can sell them for like five to ten bucks a piece, but it's kind of tedious to do. So although I don't think it's a dumb idea, it's not what I'm looking to do with my time. So I left it on the shelf. I thought this was nuts. This was crazier than being attacked by that guy. $12 for a Sony alarm clock. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Um, you know, whatever. This is just the way it is. Sometimes Goodwill's price things really, really high. 20 bucks for that. Another $10 for this Sony alarm clock. Like, whatever. You know what? 
I don't have to buy the stuff. They're not making me buy it. So it doesn't really affect me that much that it costs more than they should be selling it for. Eventually, they'll learn uh, the things won't sell. It'll sit on the shelf and they'll lower prices. This calculator, three bucks for it. I could have made like two bucks on it. But again, the only time I'm buying those little cheapy calculators is if I can buy like a hundred at a time. And then I can, you know, use my time better and do a bulk buy and scale up that way. Over in the sporting goods section, I found kind of a novel driver. Uh, it's, a, it's called the X-Factor Hammer. That RAM there is not really worth anything. Maybe 10, 20 bucks. But this hammer right here... Uh, so it's made by a guy named Jack Ham, who was a big long drive champion back in the day. And it's a gimmick club. It's an upside down face. It's supposed to have a higher center of gravity, more face area. They've been making these for like 30 years. And there are people who still like them. You know, they're, it's not a good club. It's a, a gimmick. But hey, if I can pay three bucks in the store and then sell it for 35 bucks, 40 bucks on eBay, I'll do that. I like weird golf clubs. I think golf, I love to golf. It's like my favorite sport to play. And so if I can do that with my, my business, my side hustle, why wouldn't I? Uh, this Akushnet Titleist Pitching Wedge, maybe it'll sell in two years for 30 bucks. Maybe. It's super old. It's just the kind of thing that's cool to see. Uh, Titleist is a great brand, but a club this old is not worth buying to resell at least. More golf clubs. These are not old enough to be considered antiques, really. They're just kind of old and junky. What I did see that I thought was cool is a one iron. A one iron's a driving iron. They're kind of obsolete. No one uses them anymore. Uh, I did buy this for three bucks. If you were to say, hey, Blake, should I buy this? I would say no, but it's just so unique, so cool that I want to be a part of it. The brand is Jimmy Crane, which I am not familiar with. But again, it's an old, you know, probably 1960s driving iron. That's cool to me. If you want to be a good reseller or you want to make money at reselling, you have to know what things are more prevalent in your area. I'm in cold ass Michigan, so we have a lot of very nice winter jackets that get donated. This right here is an Eddie Bauer 800 gram down jacket. It's the Ascent series. It's a tall XL. I love selling down jackets. I love selling tall clothing because it's more unique, harder to get. This should go for between 80 and 100 bucks, maybe 60 bucks. I don't know. It's going to depend, you know, kind of late in the year, but it's still, it's only January, so who knows? There was a small issue, a little bit of the down coming out, not a lot. Um, you can see that right there. I don't know if I'll patch it up or I'll just picture it. Either way, I do not see it affecting the sale price that much at all. My final pickup was kind of a long shot. No, not this Harry's Hotel kit. It's the Airwick Baby Magic Scent Canister. So one of these sold for 50 bucks. There's like four or five listings of the same thing for sale between 50 and 60 bucks. I'll list these both for $75, $80. I'm paying five bucks a piece. I think it's going to work. I don't know for sure. I'd say it's kind of a more advanced uh, pick, but I feel good about it. All right, so uh, these two golf clubs here, kind of long shots. The, the hammer has a good sell through, right? This one iron, I'm just guessing that somebody's going to buy that. It's unique. Jimmy Crane, not a lot of sell through there, uh, but it's... I don't know, it has a good look. I like it. It's got the old blade design. And then as far as the jackets I bought, um, two down jackets. Pretty simple. Should get 80 bucks for the Eddie Bauer and probably 60 bucks for the uh, Omni Heat Columbia jacket. They're both in decent condition. Um, there is, like you saw, some feathers coming through on this one. That maybe I'll have to take a best offer of like 60, but still I pay 10 bucks a piece. That puts the entire revenue at like over $500 and I spent 60 bucks, 70 bucks uh, on all of this. So that's that's really good for only a few hours work. Now, um, you know, time to go, go home, go back to my warehouse, do some listings. So thanks for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And uh, well, I'll see you next time. Oh yeah, and the secret message today, N. It's the letter N. Write down the letter N. Or maybe it's T.